Hi there, this is Ms. Novikoski from My Home to Yours, and today we're going to play a math game called Lucky 13. This is a game I just learned about yesterday on a webinar that I attended, and all you need for this game is a deck of cards with cards from ace through ten, so ace being the one, up to ten. You can play this with a partner or up to four people, and you probably need a pencil and paper or something to keep score on. And that's all you need. And the focus of this game is um, adding to start off with and practicing strategies like doubles and near doubles and making 10. All right, here we go. Okay, to play Lucky 13, I've just set up this uh, piece of paper to keep track of our score. For me and my partners, I've got five spots because there's five rounds and then we'll total up our scores at the bottom here. So I'll just put this aside for now. You start off by dealing out each player five cards. Just put the rest in the middle. And your goal is to make 13 with two cards or as close to 13 as you can. So I turn my five cards over and luckily I see that I have a 10 and a three. So I can make a 13 with that. Your partners can see your cards. It doesn't really matter. So my partner here, I'm looking, can you see a way that they could make 13 with the cards that they have. I see that they can make 13 a couple of different ways. One of the ways would be with a six and a seven. So each partner, if they have a way to make 13 or as close to it as they can, they take those two cards and put them under the deck and choose two more cards. And I take my two cards and put them under and choose two more cards. Now, for that last hand, or that last round, we both got 13 exactly, so we both score zero for that first round because we were exactly on 13. So now this round, can I make 13? I see I can make it with an eight and a five. And my partner, can they make 13? They can, with the nine and the four. So again, we both score zero for this round because we were able to make 13. So after five rounds, you total up the scores and I have a score of two and so does my partner. So we tied for this round. Here's a little different way you could play Lucky 13, and we're gonna use these cubes to keep score with. So you could lay all five cards out in front of you and then just keep them turned up. Turn these over here. And let's see, I've got six and seven, so that's a 13. But my partner has all low score, so they've got six, four and three make seven. That's as close as they can get to 13. So what's the difference between seven and 13? That's six, so they score six for that first round and I score zero. So I'm gonna turn this over and then I'm gonna keep score here for them. You can stack them if you want for, this might get tall, six starting off. And I have zero. So then we both get two new cards. And we look at our cards and now I have a lot of lower numbers. I've got six and two makes eight. And my partner can make nine and two. That's closer to 13. It's only two away. So they've got two for their second round. And I guess I've got eight, which from 13 is five away. So I score five on my second round here. And then you keep playing until you've got five rounds. See you next time from my home to yours.